Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode, the finale, in fact, of Pikmin 2. It's been a minute since I've played this game. Um, put it off for various reasons, but we're back in the saddle today and we are going to finish this game to completion, as I'm sure everybody can appreciate. This uh, part of the level is filled with um, dweevils, as you can see, which are very annoying, in fact. I don't know if there's a really good way to do this. I mean, you can go and punch the dweevils, and they don't have a ton of health. Um, I would say the ones that I would recommend killing, you know, if you're able to, in whatever way you'd choose, um, there's the ones that will confuse the radar, and then there's the... Um, I mean, they're all elemental, I guess, so you can go through and you can just kind of punch them all to death. I would recommend doing that. It's probably easier. If you remember, the elemental dweevils, the electricity, the fire, and water. Nice fart sound. Good. They will um, obviously land on you and explode with their various capabilities, but we are impervious to all the elements now because of our goings-ons. We don't have to worry about any of that. Come back here. So I would recommend just going through. Oh, not immune to water. Forgot about that one. Um, I would recommend just going and kind of taking them out this way. It's by all means your choice, but uh, you know, my all of them are my choice. So I'm going to do it this way. Don't go near my pigments. There is, of course, one treasure up here that you're going... Oh, there's two treasures, which you're going to need to um, have your poison Pikmin, your white Pikmin, of course. Here's actually a really dangerous Weevil. This is the one that uh, the purple ones will explode with poison and try to kill your Pikmin. So we're going to try to kill the one blue Dweevil that's remaining. I don't care about this guy. He's just the the radar confuser. This is probably like a cheese, if you think about it in a way. But, you know, I'll do this game however I want. It's the final episode. It's the final countdown. So, I'm going to try to sneak my white Pikmin around. Oop, nope, I need all of you. All the poison spouts are going to be a problem. I love that. Like, just the final episode filled with fart sounds. Wouldn't have it any other way. I'm gonna probably try to kill this fire spout. If you remember, fire spouts can be dispatched with any color of Pikmin. But you have to remember that you have to put them out before the fire returns, which I did not doing. You'll be fine. I'm just roasting you alive. All right. Oh, I didn't finish it off yet. Whoops. Come on. What's a little bit of arson? Never hurt anybody. Let's go. All right, get up there. I'm not going to be able to have the full squad, unfortunately, because um, your unflowered purples are too fat to get up there. So instead, um, I'm just going to try to kill this guy. Kill him. Get him alive. Whoa. Okay. Excuse you. No, 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 no. The only real danger is... Um, the electric gates, of course. Those will pose a problem to you. But then once you're done with that, you can sneak around. Sneak around the farts. I don't think there's anything back here, right? Not that I recall. There might be like a nectar or something. Does not appear to be. All right. And I don't think that the white Pikmin, I don't think I have enough. I started with 15. I don't think I have enough white Pikmin to actually do any sort of meaningful carrying, so... I will need my yellows here to help out. I'm probably going to want to take these stupid fire spouts out. I'll wait till the next round goes and then we'll swarm it. Okay, good. Yellows are not very good at taking these out, but they will do just enough. In the meantime, come on. There we go. Cool. All right. So far, so good. And uh, I don't know why I put them together, because I'm immediately going to split them right back up. This is what we call not using our noggins. All right. Let's get the 
Electric gate down. One more fire gate. Yeah, I mean, there's only the two, um, there's only the two... Stop it, stop it, stop it. There's only the two uh, poison gates for the two treasures that are left, so... Come on. We don't have time for this. All right, cool. So what that allows us to do is gather our 10 poison Pikmin. We've already killed all of the remaining Dweevils that would have caused us any trouble. So I don't think that we should have any more issues unless my Pikmin are stupid and they decide to carry something the wrong way, which is entirely possible. So let's see where they, where their pathing goes. Probably gonna have to do this one at a time, sadly. Hello? Hello? Look alive, all right. And that should be 15. Okay, please don't carry this into the electric gate. I will be very upset with you. That's exactly what you're gonna do. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is really frustrating, okay. Well, if that's the case, this is unfortunately not gonna be, I, you see, that's one of the things that makes this kind of pointless. This is an arbitrary um, hazard, I suppose, with the game forcing you to essentially clear it all the way out instead of just letting you do it the way that I wanted to do it. All right. So this is really boring. I apologize for this. Um, it's not going to get any more exciting for a moment. Hopefully this electric guy stays away from me. Oh, yeah, they, they're little babies. Running away. All right. So there's a poison pipe right there. We'll go ahead and call off the boys for a moment. Kill this electric dweevil. I mean, realistically, I'm going to have to, uh, unfortunately, kill all of these. And it's already been, you know, we're already sitting at almost five minutes, ten minutes here. So this does not make the episode shorter. I should have made a farty sound. I feel like anytime there's poison involved, there should absolutely be a toot. I don't think poison is something that bothers Olimar, so. Toot away, my friend. All right, so we have one more fire dweevil, which we are immune to, of course. You are dead. We have two electric gates. And then the, um, the fire gate. Ooh, we got electrocuted, that was cool. Appreciate that. Oh, there's another, oh wait. If this takes this this way, it will go down and bring it around town and these guys will be there, okay. These guys are getting precariously close to my actual Pikmin. I don't like that. So I'm going to kill them. They're conveniently all in one spot. So I do like that. As my Pikmin desperately try to carry the stuff that I don't need them to. Well, I do need them to, but not the way that I, not the way that I'd hoped. Not following the directions, boys. All right, so the water one is the biggest threat. Fire one, obviously the last of the gross spiders. Which I did learn at one point, that the reason why spiders um, kind of crinkle up and die like that is that I, th I believe the way that their bodies operate is this like, it's kind of similar to like a hydraulic where um, they, uh, they use pressure in their legs to move. And when that pressure is gone because their body is dead, um, nothing regulating that, they, um, they just kind of crinkle up. A little bit. All right. Oof. So we just have the annoying one left, which I'm not afraid of in any way. But I just gotta make sure that if my Pikmin do split up, of course they put the white ones closest to the hazard. Love that for me. I'm trying not to, I mean, you all have seen me play. Um, I'm very much a firm believer in not being always super careful because that's not the most fun to watch but we don't really have a lot of um i don't have a lot of patience to redo this multiple times so i'm just trying to finish it off here let's see if my pikmin can not be complete morons this time around i'm going to very carefully follow this knowing my luck they would all just swarm into the poison pit and then die all right, so we're gonna use the white Pikmin, of course, to speed this up, and then the yellows will be support carriers. All right, you're going this way, which is fine, because I've already cleared that up, so... 
in that case, I will grab... Actually, I don't need to do anything. I guess I can just wait. Also, I lied. Um, I do believe that there is a... There is one rest floor. Oh, guys, thanks for helping out in the last, you know, 1% of the carry. This is terrifying. The Extreme Perspirator. I think this is one of those old dolls that... Um, when you squeeze it, it, it shoots out water or something. If you've ever been to like one of those um, Japanese steakhouse buffet kind of things. Um, like I said, they're not really buffets, I suppose. Uh, Japanese steakhouse. That's literally all that it is. Where they cook it on the big grill in front of you. Sometimes they'll have those little gag things where um, they'll shoot it at you. Shoot it at your face. And some people really don't like that. Alright, what does this need? 30? Oh boy. Where's the purples when you need them? All right, we'll just do it that way. I don't have the patience. Next, here's a couple purples. Speaking of, come here, boys. Throw you up there because you can't make it up on your own. And we will be done with this. Yep, take your time. You know, we're not trying to finish an episode today. We still have six more floors to do. One of which is a rest floor, thankfully. No, 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 okay. Get it out of your system now. Get it out of your system now. We don't have time for it. It's the final countdown. All right. So let's see where you guys carry this one. There are white Pikmin with you, so technically this should not take you that long, but it will because you have to go all the way around. Oh, boy. And as far as I know, it's just these two treasures, I think. Um... So, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just talk a little bit about our feelings. Um, this has been a fun game. I've really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I usually do this during the credits, and I will, again, because I'm going to forget that I did this in probably about a half an hour. But, I don't know, I've enjoyed this, and, you know, I, I did play Pikmin 3 before. That's obviously a great game. Um, I This is still probably one of my favorite Pikmins. It's the one that I am the most fond of, just because I've played it the most. Although I've never finished it. It's the only Pikmin I haven't finished, so... We're gonna be uh, breaking some new ground today and finishing this for the first time. What are you doing? I like this, though. This is probably one of the best treasures in the game. The Possessed Squash. Makes me think of Halloween, which is, as we all know, the best holiday. All right, first floor down. Let's keep it moving. Okay. Floor number nine, the dreamed in. This is the only rest floor, so... Make sure to take care of it. We have a glint beetle. Or is this a doodle bug? I don't remember. But, um... Yeah. Go ahead and make sure you drop in on them. The more times you hit them, which I think three is the most you can do, you'll get uh, nectars, potions... All that kind of stuff, sprays, whatever. I, I'm i completely forgetting what anything is even called anymore. So make sure you nectar up your Pikmin. I don't think you're going to have another chance besides this. I believe this is the only... Okay, here we go. Here's a golden doodle bug. I think this is the only real way that you're going to be getting any sort of respite here. We got two spicy sprays, though, which is great. I'll just tell you now, there's not really much of a use for uh, bitter sprays going forward for the rest of the kind of run. I mean, you can use them, obviously, if there's a lot of enemies that are tricky, but um, not really a viable thing to use for the final boss or anything like that. So use them away. I think that is everybody flowered up. It's a shame they don't give you Mamudas to, to murder their peaceful little cells. All right, so, oh, this might be the doodle bug. Everything is farting and poisoned. Stop poisoning my pigments. Oh, there's two of them. Don't you poison my pigments. These are the best ones. Oh, there's a bunch of bitter spray. Well, if you need it, there it is. In my previous experience of gathering the sprays for my Pikmin, I didn't actually get very many. 
It's probably predetermined how many you get, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, that was cool. And as far as I know, that's it. So from here on out, we've got floors 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We've got five more to finish up this beautiful game. Let's do it. Okay, back to work, viewers. Sub-level 10. Call off your Pikmin right away. And, uh... Find yourselves this obnoxious turd. It's the Gatling Groin, as we all know. Definitely gonna want to take care of this guy first, because it will kill a bunch of your Pikmin if you don't. Um... You don't really have much of a use for, uh... You don't have much of a use for bitter sprays anymore, and you're gonna want to aggro the Groink because it can kill a lot of your Pikmin very fast. So smack its buns with Olimar, trying not to accidentally get him killed in the process. But Groinks are definitely one of the more obnoxious enemies, and trying to deal with this guy and navigate this floor is not recommended. Um, it will always only attack your captain if you're right next to it, of course, so... Try to get right behind it and just keep smacking away. It's gonna shake its tail feathers at you. Yeah, this is probably one of my least favorite enemies in the game. Um, but, of course, when you do kill it, which we will, um, here in a moment, it will regenerate. So, we have to dispatch it as such, dead, then run back up here very quickly bring all of our Pikmin around the corner, around the outside. Nope. Stay away. Stay away. Kill these guys with the purples. Alright. Now that we can do that, we should have enough time to... We gotta kill these ones real quick. There's another one. We do want to kill these guys. Stay away. I hate these things with all my heart. We're trying to kill everything that we can before the Groink reanimates. We're gonna race against the clock here. Kill the Jelly Float. Alright. So now that's dead. I'm gonna split up. And we need our blue Pikmin because I don't think anything else can carry the Groink out of there. I don't know if this is how many we need or not, but I'm gonna find out in a moment. Oh, it's going hot. I need 10. Oh, I got one too few. That's enough. Oh, wait, no, I have enough. So hopefully I can carry it back. The only enemies are fire blowhogs, but we're in the water, so... If you can back off, sir. I can't imagine that we would get, um... Burned underwater? In the water? That seems kind of unfair. But yeah, carry the Gronk back. And just help yourself. Just trust me on this one. Get that out of the way. Definitely one of the most obnoxious enemies in the game. That's one of the few examples of when I would say it is okay to go and kill and take back an enemy. Alright. So, I think we still need to lure out some of these um, water dumples, which... No, 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 no. I'm trying to be very systematic with how I handle this because I don't want to lose any Pikmin prior to the final fight. Trying not to do that, or at least a minimal amount. Because I'm not good at this game and I don't want to risk it. Stop it. Trying to subdivide Pikmin when they're like wedged in these corners is not the easiest thing to do. Alright. So I kind of want to... Let's get Olimar going with the purples. See if I can get the president to lure the dumples. Come on, you little babies. Come on to land, you little babies. Mm -mm. I'm a yummy president, come out and get me. I might honestly just kill them this way, just because it's easier. Although I need to be careful because I don't want to completely endanger the president. That's one. Oops. Alright, it's good. I don't know where the I don't know where the treasure is. Um if I had to guess, it's probably in the jelly float. It appears to be. So if that's the case, um, I think I could probably, I might just be able to 
use my blue Pikmin and just kill the Jelly Float. Everybody else is going to have to stay back, unfortunately, because the stupid water is around here. And I should have a decent amount of blue Pikmin. Only blue, only blue. All right, can we climb up here? I thought I, I thought, I honestly thought that I, um, I flowered everything. I guess I didn't. All right, so it does appear like the jelly float, which I believe this is a king jelly float, um, that this one has in fact the treasure we are trying to get. Let my blue Pikmin dispatch it. Gotta hurry up though, because we don't want it to eat the Pikmin on the inside. So we will try to attack it before it does so. Okay, that looked like that was a successful attack. And it has turned into whatever this is. So I don't think that the, um... I don't think that the fire blowhogs are actually dangerous in water. I don't... <laughs> like, they're still blowing the water out, or the fire out, strangely, but... I don't know, I guess I can't complain. Now, if that's the only treasure, that would be actually really wonderful, because this is a very clean floor. Look at this. The Talisman of Life. I have no idea what this is. Is this like a card holder or something? I've never seen that before. All right. Clean, viewers. Clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. All right. Good floor. Let's do it. Okay. Four more to go. Three more normal floors. Normal, I say. Um, and then... The ultimate hazard. All right, so first things first. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this fiery blowhog. We're probably just gonna dispatch everything one little bit at a time. Kind of like what we've been doing. Um, I don't know if there's a reason for this gate to be here like this or if it's just what the RNG decided would be fun to look at. I'm just gonna dispatch everything. Easy peasy lemon squeezy one at a time. Looks like there's a bread bug over there. When's the last time we saw a bread bug? It's been a long time. And it's been a long time since I've even played this game, let alone seeing things that were from a while ago in said game. All right, so Olimar, I'm gonna have, I think it's probably pretty okay to Start dispatching stuff. Turn around. Oh no. No! Stop! Oh boy. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That's okay. Yeah, you take him back. You can have that corpse. That's fine. I'm just trying to find the safest way to go about killing everything. And it's probably like this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right, dead. Now I need to kill this bread bug. I guess you cannot attack it when it is in the motion of grabbing. Come here. As far as I know, it's just going to continue to try to grab these corpses. Um, but he's very annoying and I want it to die. So, if you remember, bread bugs are the ones. Um, stay away. Stay away. All right. All right. You're forcing my hand a little bit. Not. This is not the way that I intended to do this. All right. I don't know if the bread bug is the one that does have any of the. Um, are there two bread bugs? Maybe. I'm trying to just hammer it with my purples, but it's... This thing is hardy. Come on. Just die already. Story of my life. And that sound it makes is... What did they... What? Like, who did the sound effects for this? I hate it. Whoa! I'm not even going to try to recreate that, just for your safety, viewers. Okay. So... So far, we've only had one purple casualty, which is still probably too many, in my opinion. Um... But it looks like there's a treasure back here, which you probably need to dispatch all that nonsense first before you can come over to this. 
Um, there's just a lot going on, and you don't want to lose the... You don't want to lose any of your squad. Hello? I see one of you. Hello? Look alive. All right. Now, I don't know if there's anything more than this. There might be more. I think there might be one more treasure. So we need our yellows to lead the way. Hot Wheels leading the way. This Let's Play is brought to you by Word Association. Okay. So, only yellows, of course. I'm so nervous because this game does not... Oh, boy. Don't you do it. Are you stuck by the poison? Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining. All right. So, that's the first treasure. I think there might be another one. Oh, look at this. The yellow taste tyrant. Put a little pep in your step, a little mustard. Okay. And now we need our poison pigments. Trying to be careful of those fiery blow hogs, which aren't really much of a threat, of course, but um, they are annoying. I'm smacking your butt. I'm smacking you right in your butt. Do you like it when I smack your butt? This is just my way of trying to slow and steady wins the race, this final part of the game. Just instantly, you know, now I'm playing very cautiously. It's the final, final leg of the game, and then here I am not taking the risks, but like I said before, this is a recording that I only want to do once because this episode is going to be very long if I don't. Um, one of the worst things is getting through a clean recording and then um, having to redo it. That is the worst. Okay. Actually, the worst would probably be getting through a clean recording and then having explosive diarrhea. But, you know, neither here nor there. Okay. So, we've done that. I want... A perps. See if that's enough. Nope. Oh, I need the full, my full armament. I am getting incredibly turned around here. That looks like a good amount of purples. I want more of them though. I need more. Give me more purple. Okay. Try to subdivide here, and then we can go and kill whatever's left. Looks like there's a watery blowhog. One of these annoying guys. You're dead. Oh, you're alive. I didn't know you lived. So we got uh, one of the captain stealing snitch bugs. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. I apologize for you hearing all that loud click clacking on my controllers. Oh, my purples can kill this guy really fast. This is one of my other least favorite enemies. And I feel like the HP bars are very misleading because it's like they're dead and then they aren't dead. Can you come here? Nope, come back. Oh boy. Dead. Very good. How do I get up there? Oh, it's probably yellows. How do I get something up high? This is my first time playing this game. And my only fear is that I don't have enough yellows to actually make this happen. I have... Um... 12. Oh, 13. If this is more than 13, I'm gonna be a sad panda. Because I don't know how to get it. Can I... Can you reach up there at all? This could be one of those things where you gotta throw them on here. And then guide them around. Maybe? I don't know if this is going to work, but come on, guys. Come on. Find it. Find it. Find it. Oh, boy. Oh, it's way less. Okay. Never mind. I thought for a second that wasn't going to work, that I didn't have enough Pikmin to do it. But I did, because I'm amazing. All right. Now I need at least one white Pikmin. Preferably more, so this doesn't take eons. Okay, great. The bountiful, bountiful uh, harvest of two. Just trying to open up the exit. And then once the poison spout is gone, of course, we have to still go and beat off this rock here to 
uncover the exit. The passage way down. The ground butthole, of course. We are multitasking. They're almost done with the prize. Wonderful. The boss stone. Like a boss. Okay, we are still not done. Just kidding, we are. All right. Only one casualty. Not bad. Okay, viewers, only two more normal floors. Looks like we're down in the sink. Um, looks like a lot of poison. Whoa! That's not cool. I'm gonna go ahead and um, wander around. We have an antenna beetle, which is annoying. I don't know how prevalent these rocks are, if they respawn or not, but I don't like this. Got some grumpy wally wogs here. There's a lot of poison on this floor. Holy smokes. Oops. Whoa. Should not be using the president. El Presidente is in rough shape. First things first, we're obviously going to need our hazmat boys. All ten of them. To start clearing out the way. I have no idea where the treasure is, so I would assume it was probably on the other side of these gates. I'm not really seeing there being a likelihood of... Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this guy, so once he comes over here, I'm just going to bitter spray ya. I don't think my white Pikmin are going to be able to do a ton of damage to him, but... Hopefully enough. Cool. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting it to turn into uh, nectar. That's weird. But yeah, be very careful here. Um, as you could obviously see, there was uh, falling rocks. So, watch yourselves. Probably should kill the antenna beetle if I'm being completely accurate in progress. Because until I do, I'm not going to know where the treasure actually is. Oh, it turned into a spray. That's cool. You give up a bitter spray, you get a uh, spicy spray. Okay. Knowing my luck, this will be one of those levels because of all the poison that it's like an under... underground, buried kind of thing. Yeah, are we getting closer? Is it back here? Whoa! All right, so I think it's behind this gate, viewers. What do you think? This would be very convenient if, uh, if I brought more Pikmin and I didn't really clear out the way super well. This is going to take eons. All right, so to speed up this process because I'm dumb, hopefully there's just one treasure on here. That'd be great. All right, so in the meantime, I will have you boys continue to do this. And then I will have the president bring me some reinforcements. So that way this does not take forever. And I also don't know if 10 Pikmin is going to be enough to salvage whatever this is anyway. So I'm assuming it's a buried treasure. That's what it looks like. If you can't see it and it's still bing bonging, then it's probably buried. All right, so let's get to work here. Let me add him, let me add him, let me add him. This might be the last Let Me Adam viewers. Enjoy this. I think we're digging it up pretty fast. Looks like another ring of sorts. The one ring to rule them all, even though we found like 15 of them. Alright, so if you could not get murdered in the poison? You idiots. Well, these poisons on an instant kill, which would be really frustrating. Um, like some of the other hazards, like electricity. I mean, it makes sense, you know, logically, but it doesn't make me happy. Three, four, and five. I sound like I'm the, uh... I sound like the owl from the, um... Like the Tootsie Pop commercials. A one, a two, a three, a crunch. I'm a jerk. 
Okay, so if this is the only thing I have to do, if this is the only treasure, which it might be? I don't know. That would be nice. We'll find out here in a moment. I bet it's not. There's probably another one. The Universal Calm. I thought it said Universal Corn. Alright, so that was not it, unfortunately. I would have to guess that it is probably in one of these orange bulb orbs. In which case, I will bring my purples around. And we will get on to the murderins. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these purples to the front of the line here, murder squad. Now, can we do this without um, losing anything? Let's find out. Obviously, I'm not concerned about this. These orange bulb orbs are not really a threat. However, I don't know where the, the item is. Looks like it might be in this one. Oh, hello! We've got something for you! Why would you turn around, you dummy? Alright, I was right. So, instead of having them try to carry this, I'm going to send my purples knock down this wall. Olimar can bring the white-red combo, ketchup and mayonnaise, and we will uh, we'll bring this treasure back. Ex post hasto. That's not a word. All right, guys. So far, so good. I'm feeling a little confident about this level, which is scaring me, so... I don't know how to feel. And this music kind of trips me out a little bit. It's kind of like Minecrafty, a little bit like, um, kind of like Chrono Trigger when you're in the Magic Kingdom. That sounds like something from Disney, it's not what I meant. What does that say? Clabber Girl? Oh, the stringent container. Viewers, that is it. Let us proceed. Viewers, this is the penultimate floor of Pikmin 2. Prepare yourselves. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Well, it's back to doing the crazy, weird um, marimba, xylophone, vibraphone. Boom, boom, bing, bing, bong, 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 bong. It's exactly what it sounds like. They actually had me record it, um, but my hourly rate was too high, so they went and actually had somebody play a vibraphone for real. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Um, I have a yellow in here, which I don't need. Whoop. And we're just... I think this might just be a large bull boar rampage mission here. Which is actually kind of a fun way to end this game. Before the final boss. If it goes according to plan. A big old if. All right. Um... It looks like it's here in this one. Okay, that's one treasure. That might be the only treasure, I don't know. All right, then we got the hairy bull orb. Giving it a haircut. Got him. All right, so let's get the white Pikmin. It still creeps me out that the ones, the orange ones, they still kind of look like they're alive, like with their eyes are open a little bit. All right, hopefully this is the, uh, the only treasure. It might be, which is good because I am taking forever to do these final floors. The hypnotic platter. Oh my goodness, that is it. What an anticlimactic secondary to final floor. All right, viewers, it's time to do this finale. Let's do it. 